Yeah, it's always good having the internationals uh, back from the Six Nation. Uh, I think you could tell by, by Monday being in a full team room um, and having all the boys back have a little bit of extra energy. Um, always good to have them back and excited to have them back in the mix for this week. Um, they always added some, some extra motivation in the group and we would be excited to see them on the pitch this weekend. Um, it's great to have you all back. Um, really proud of your efforts. We're particularly proud of Dan Cole. Oh, mate. 100-capture country. Uh, the way that you've done it, uh, fought your way back in to play at tight head. Unbelievable, mate. Well done. Yeah, it's very nice having Coley back, uh, especially after achieving that uh, 100th cap of him. I think he went through through uh, some difficult times and to, to come back from a long international break that he didn't play and come back and reach his 100th test cap, I think that's amazing. I think it shows his character. It's always good having him back. I think when he was away, you could tell there's, there's something missing. You can't put your finger on it. But uh, as soon as Kohli, Kohli came back, you, you knew exactly what was missing in this past few weeks. Finners, so Finners um, texted me yesterday saying I'm going to take the day um, to recover and I'll be in Tuesday. Now he didn't ask me, he told me that was, <laughs> that was what he's doing. Um, so he's been lazy today. Lazy at home. Um, there was a few people in the room that weren't lazy though. Um, lads uh, pitching up for him. Here's Jimmy Whitcomb. Yeah, I think uh, what we saw from Phil in the first challenge they faced was, was absolutely unbelievable and then he just gone and backed that up with something more ridiculous and um, Will is always inspiring. Um, we, we said in the start of this challenge, we will back him through everything he does and he's an absolute massive motivation for us as boys just to see what he goes through for other people. Nice to be back in, actually probably felt like an eternity since I'd last been in. Uh, it had only been about four days, but um, no, no, it was really special. And yeah, it's something we do really well. I think we try and celebrate people's achievements. Um, and yeah, I was incredibly grateful that you know, the club and, uh, and the lads sort of recognised this one. But I think it's, yeah, it's nothing about me. It's about what we've done as, as a group. You should be um, incredibly proud of the group we've got. With, uh, you had Jimmy and JB who spent uh, the whole time with him on a bike, you had all the lads turning up to support him. We had the staff. I think you look at the donations, you know, every, it's fairly small amounts, so there's a lot of people that have donated, um, which is pretty special because, you know, this is clearly an illness that has affected a lot of people. The whole point of doing the challenge, there was two points one for the, to raise the awareness, and the second was to, to raise funds for blood cancer. Um, and to be, yeah, to be sat here now, just over £50,000, it makes me incredibly proud, but um, it wouldn't be possible without the support from, from everyone donating. It is a special group, boys. You should be really proud of yourselves and what you do, how much care and support you have when someone does something. Uh, you didn't just provide, that's what you provide, financial support, which was really fucking, <laughs> really special. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> I think it was uh, Harry Potter and Guy Porter. I was with them at the time in the, in the XV club, and uh, they said to have a look at the look at the board of where the fundraising uh, was getting put. And we saw a donation from Harry Wells for two pound ninety nine, which uh, yeah, it got some laughs. And um, no, it was great to see it. It sort of picked us up a little bit. But uh, no, look, he uh, he came down, and uh, it was great to see him as well. Donation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to comment. That no, wasn't him, but. Um, no, look, like I say, it was, it was, yeah, it was a special weekend, so I'm very grateful for it. Just let me know which one. I think it's always nice coming down to Matulu Woods, Welford Road. I think it just gives you that 
bit of sense for game day coming up um, on the weekend. Uh, makes everyone a bit more familiar with their surroundings and it's always nice to be here. I think it's a nice environment, nice to see familiar faces around here, so it's good to be back. Three games left, um, I don't think a lot changes for us and that starts this weekend with Bristol at home. Um, I think it's going to be a massive one but um, it's at home in front of our fans. Two, three, four. 